The Big Ten title game is Michigan and Purdue. That's right, the spoiler makers who are undefeated under Jeff Brom against AP top three ranked teams, which is mind-blowing if you really sit down and look at it. Michigan is a 16.5 point favorite. The total sits at 52. Of course, latest numbers at BetUS. It's 8 p.m. Eastern time on Fox for this one. And we did get news today that Blake Corum is having season-ending knee surgery, which is not great heading into the playoffs, but they do have Donovan Edwards. We will we will see what happens. Uh, Michigan, over the past five weeks, my numbers would have them favored by 26.38. That is a lot of points. And the reason why is that Purdue's offense has completely fallen apart over the past five weeks. Now, forget all the stuff about AOC not being with the team. Aiden O'Connell, the, the quarterback for Purdue. Um, Right, there's there's a family issue that's happening with them. Uh, obviously, you know, thoughts with those guys, uh, with Aiden O'Connell and his family, and, and really with the Purdue football team. But this is a big-time spot for them. What I'm seeing here is a Purdue defense that has been pretty good and has been able to slow some teams down. What they've not been able to do is stop the run against really anybody. They're number 102 in stuff rate. They are number 69 in offensive line yards allowed. They are number 67 in PPA per rush, number 62 in rushing success rate. I think Michigan is going to be able to get a push in this spot, right? I think this is a a big, big spot for them to kind of reestablish the running game. I know they broke some big plays against Ohio State. I don't think they're going to have to break big runs. I think they will eventually, but they're going to be able to lean on Purdue quite a bit here and, and keep the ball away from that offense. Um, they're not going to rely on throwing the football this time. I mean, they, they relied on the big plays against Ohio State for sure. But if you start uh, if you start leaning on that Purdue defensive line and then they have to bring up safeties, etc., you're going to get a lot of those opportunities again. And J.J. McCarthy showed us that he can absolutely hit them. Uh, this is a big spot. You know, everybody that wants to talk about it, the fact that it's a letdown spot for Michigan, like, what are we talking about? This is the Big Ten title game. They don't get these all the time in Michigan. I, I know they won it last year, but you saw what they did last year. They got their first win over Ohio State in years, in almost a decade, and then turned right back around the next week against Iowa, who had an absolutely fantastic defense uh, in an offense that was not nearly as bad as the Iowa def- or offense is this year, and they stomped them 42-3. to I mean, just absolutely whipped them. I, I kind of see the same thing happening here. This Michigan team is on a mission right now. Um, hey, let's look at the Michigan defense, okay, against this Purdue offense. This Purdue offense, number 112 PPA per rush. Well, Michigan's defense is number two. Purdue's offense is number 97 in PPA per pass. Over the past five weeks, Michigan's defense is number 22. Passing success rate, Michigan's defense number 45. Purdue's offense number 126. Like, this is not going well for this Purdue offense. And now they're facing the best defense that they will have faced all season. Like, this this may be the best team that Purdue has faced all season. And it's not like they've been great against... Uh, the other teams in the Big Ten West. I mean, let's just uh, call it like we see it, okay? Uh, this is this is a strange, strange spot. A lot of people like Purdue because, oh, they've, you know, they beat two top three ranked teams last year. Well, that Purdue team last year was way better than this year. A lot of that, a lot of that stuff from last season had to do with that defense. And Brad Lambert, who was the defense coordinator last year, has uh, has moved on over. Now, don't get me wrong. This defense, the numbers are looking good over the past five weeks. But this offense is missing something right now. And I'm not sure exactly what it is, um, but they are they are missing something. I will say that. Uh, Michigan, number one in points per play margin over the past five weeks. Purdue is number eight. Uh, net points per drive. Michigan, number two over the past five weeks. Purdue, number 58. Like this, this is a big-time spot for Michigan. I think they're going to get this thing done pretty easily. Uh, Give me Michigan to cover the 16 and a half. I, I gave it away on the Bet US show. I'm telling you, like I, I feel really good about this Michigan team this weekend, even without Blake Corum. I think this team is just next man up mentality. I like what Harbaugh's doing. Give me Michigan to cover there. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or 